Online learning, free courses. Okay guys, so in this short video, we're just going to be covering some of the Fiverr FAQs of getting started, some of the things that we haven't covered, just a few detail items. Um, and because some of these questions were very specific, I just wanted to make a short slideshow for you. That way you are having the most precise information in going forward. So let's just quickly go through this. Can I change my username? No, you cannot. Usernames cannot be changed once you've created one, and you do have to create a username in order to register your account. So you want to take some time in thinking about this. Um, definitely, I would recommend deciding what kind of gigs you want to offer, especially decide what kind of category you want to be in before you go ahead and choose a username. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and register your account. How do I claim unclaimed withdrawals? This is a payment question. And basically, you're just going to go into your PayPal account. You must verify your email address. Then once that is all connected in Fiverr, when you have money that's able to be withdrawn, then you will simply um, go into your account and there's a place uh, at the top where it will say, um, earnings, you'll click on that button and that will allow you to be able to withdraw whatever funds are available. Once a withdrawal is processed, it cannot be reversed. Can I partially cancel or refund order? I wish Fiverr allowed this, but unfortunately it does not and they cannot be partially refunded. So the way that they ask that you work around this is that ask the buyer to create a new order for whatever the amount is. Let's say that you originally had an order for $50 and they were unsatisfied or maybe you couldn't provide um, the extra portion of the work that they needed or whatever the reason may be. Then you wanted to say, hey, you know what? It's fine, just pay the 20 bucks and we'll forget the rest. If you wanna do that, then have them um, go ahead and create a new order for whatever the amount may be, and then you're gonna go ahead and cancel the old order. So that's your way around partial refunds. How long does it take for me to receive revenues from an order? This can vary depending on what kind of gigs you're offering. So um, just going over that quickly, what I wanna say is if you're offering um, anything that's a physical item that you're going to be shipping, it will take longer to get paid. It takes 14 days to get paid out if you are shipping anything through Fiverr. It takes only, um, I think, seven days when you're a new seller before you become a level one. And then once you're a level one, it only takes three days to for the orders to be processed and for you to get paid out. And I may even be um, incorrect in that. It may just be the first 30 days that uh, new sellers, it, uh, that it takes a one week to get paid out, then from there, just three days. But basically, um, the buyers will pay Fiverr in advance for the order. So everything is done upfront, the money is inside Fiverr. Then once you complete your gig order and your work, then the buyer will have three days to review it and complete the order, even if they don't, review the work within three days, the order will still be marked complete after 72 hours. Can I have more than one withdrawal provider? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Um, you can only have one withdrawal method per Fiverr account, and it is against Fiverr's TOS to have more than one account. I will show you a way around this if you desire to have more than one Fiverr account, but we'll talk about that at the end of this course. Are there any fees when withdrawing revenue? Yes, there are. Now, I just want to clarify, this doesn't come from Fiverr directly, but it does come from the third part party site. So places like PayPal, the actual Fiverr revenue card is actually powered by MasterCard and there are fees that can be um, incurred through there. Also, when you're withdrawing from, uh, if you're doing a direct deposit or bank transfer, there are some fees that can come along with that as well. 
Uh, they're all pretty small, I think. I've actually never looked into the five revenue card, but I will have the fee table that you can review inside the resources section of this course. So you can simply download that, check what your uh, fees may be if you choose to go that route. And PayPal's fees are very low. It's only like up to a dollar. So there's really um, no big issue with that. When it comes to advertising your gigs, the first thing you wanna do is find out where you, these types of people are spending their time. So let's say that you are wanting to offer marketing services or writing services. You'd wanna find out what kind of Facebook groups they're in or you know where they're at um, online, if they're on LinkedIn or Twitter, you know wherever it may be. Facebook is a great place. Almost, almost everybody has a Facebook account Nowadays, um, it depends how much they use it, but um, you can definitely go there to look for groups and people that would like your services and then become active in those places. There may even be forums um, that would be a really great place for you to go and get become a part of that community. And you know, you don't want to simply promote yourself all the time you want to give feedback answer other people's questions and things of that nature then once you've gained some credibility on the site and through uh, this community then you can go ahead and you can start posting um, your gigs as solutions to some of the problems they may be facing so oh and the other thing that I wanted to mention is that you always want to point them back to your fiber gigs which brings me to my next point no matter what your method is of promoting your gigs and your Fiverr profile, you always want to point it back to Fiverr. No matter what you do, no matter what it is that you're saying, you just want to point, uh, give them a link that points back to your Fiverr profile or your gigs. In fact, it's against Fiverr's terms of service that you would communicate with buyers off the platform and any other method. So if you are reaching out and you're communicating with people and you're trying to get more traffic and more people to your gigs, then you have to point them back to Fiverr. So that is um, the FAQ in a nutshell. And just to summarize how to become a top seller even faster, you wanna research what's selling right now. You want to success hack the best sellers and you want to provide awesome service and that's going to help you become a top seller a lot faster and it's simply going to help you make more sales and more reviews and more income on Fiverr by, by becoming a top seller. So I hope these quick things have been beneficial to you just to give you an idea of how much money you can make on Fiverr. I just wanted to give you a taste of what some of the top sellers and earners on Fiverr are making. One, one person that is in the audio and video production, I've worked 1,100 jobs on Fiverr in about 15 months at an average of $30 per sale. It took me four months to get traction, but now I've had a lot of months that range from 15 to $2,500 a month. I've been able to work my gigs to a place where they're producing between 40 and $100 an hour. So that is great money, right? That's well over what a manager gets paid. Here's someone that's in the writing and online marketing niche. I was able to consistently make 15 to $2,500 a month within three months and I've completed about 1,100 gigs in my 11 months as a seller. My average my average gig is up to $17 and I easily make between $45 and $100 an hour as a level two seller. My work is in the writing online marketing categories. So this is just giving you an idea like that $15 to $2,500 a month, which you know is, that's good money. You can live off of that. That is able to be made with Fiverr in just a few months. As long as you have your gigs down, you know what your offerings are and you've packaged and priced yourself appropriately. Here's uh, another voiceover artist. I put in around 35 hours per week to complete about 200 orders. This year, I stand to make about, wow, that's, that's a lot of money, $120,000 if my projections turn out accurate. Fiverr has allowed me to pay off old debt, become a sole breadwinner, and make a down payment on home. 
that is amazing. So there's actually people that have been able to break six figures just using Fiverr. And I know from experience and because I've been on here for a few years that this girl, she's only 32 years old and she actually has been on Fiverr since the beginning. So she was on Fiverr before the packages came along before the gig extras came along. And she's been able to make this kind of money. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what is possible on Fiverr. And you know, within a few months, you can be making $4,200 to $100 an hour just by offering these little freelance services on Fiverr.com. So I hope this little FAQ has been helpful for you guys. Join me in the next video as we continue on and dive deeper into some of the things some of the more advanced things that sellers may need to know.